they tan, they use about 40% of the water that's available, and the dark uses above that. Now, what I want you to look at, to look at North America up there, kind of the light blue. You can look at different countries in the world that are in light blue. Uh, this is 1995. Let me show you what's going to look like in 2025. That's the way it'll look. The United States will have gone from light blue to tan. Many countries will have used up much more water than they're receiving. Uh, that's what we face. That affects every human being, folks. I can tell you, they talk about shortage of oil. <laughs> that doesn't start to compare with the problem that we have with water. And so we need to understand what's happening, what's taking place in this old world as far as the water supply is concerned. It's not until the well runs dry that we know the worth of water. That's what Benjamin Franklin had to say. Well, let's talk a little bit about the rainforest. You don't hear much about it. At one time, the rainforest covered 14% of the world. Today, it covers 6%. That much of it's been used. Now, you say, well, so what? Cutting down the trees and using them, so what? Well, folks, the rainforests are ref referred to as the lungs of the planet. See, that's, that's the greatest source that we have of turning carbon dioxide into oxygen. What's happening to it? Look at this. 200,000 acres of rainforest are burned up every day. 200,000 acres are burned up every day. 150 acres are lost every minute. 78 million acres lost every year. That, that's doing away with the greatest source that we have of oxygen. That's what we're doing to the planet. That's why the Bible says there'll be signs in the sun, in the moon, in the stars, on the earth, distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring. The perplexity. Uh, what do you do? How do you handle when the land is being used up, disappearing? How do you handle when the water is being used up? The oxygen supply is disappearing? What are you going to do with that? perplexities. Men's hearts fail in them for fear and the expectation of those things which are coming on the earth for the power of the heavens will be shaken. That's where we stand today. Those are universal signs that affect every man, woman, and child on the face of the earth. Natural disasters. Have you, have you noticed? Ha, ha, is it, I mean, has it come to your attention any? Have you noticed what's happening as far as natural disasters are concerned? They have increased 40% in the last decade, and deaths from natural disasters have doubled. That's what's happening in your lifetime, my lifetime, right now, natural disasters that are taking place. tornadoes. I, I, I was raised, folks, in Oklahoma. Oklahoma's Tornado Alley. Okay? Let me tell you something. You do not have, listen to me, you do not have tornadoes in Oklahoma in the first part of February. 
You don't have those. And we just did. Tore up cities and killed people. That's totally out of order. Just doesn't happen, doesn't take place. But it did. Something is out of order. Natural disasters are taking place like we have never experienced. I have people say, oh, we've had these for years. We've had all those things. Not in my lifetime. Tell you for sure. No. The natural disasters we're seeing today are totally different than they were 30, 40 years ago. Hurricanes have increased in number and velocity since 1995. We're to the place today where we kind of, we stand and wait and wonder what the season's going to bring when it comes to hurricanes. They've increased so much. Earthquakes. Various places. 2004 was the deadliest year for earthquakes in over 500 years. 276,000 people perished from earthquakes. And, and by the way, the old King James Version says in devious places or divers places, it, it speaks of, which it means places where you normally don't have them. And today, we have earthquakes in places that we didn't think would have earthquakes. Someone's just telling me that we even have an, uh, something that gives us indication on the moon. They're taking place, earthquakes that are happening, indications of where we are. Indian Ocean tsunami, the deadliest in history quarter of a million people perished in a matter of a few minutes. Gone. Uh, I'm talking about natural disasters that are happening today, folks. I'm not talking about something that happened a hundred years ago. I'm talking about what you've seen in the last couple years. Whoever thought? Whoever thought of fires? as a natural disaster. Uh, you know, we didn't think that way. We didn't think of fires. You never heard about a fire being, you know, such as we had in California when they had to evacuate a million people. I mean, yes, they've always had fires in California. That's, that's kind of a natural thing, but not like this. Folks, I've walked through where those fires were. Those fires were so hot that they took refrigerators and just melted them down. There were balls of fire in those fires that would just, the heat was beyond anything that anybody has described or known about. Australia, worst fires ever. Over 200 people have lost their lives. This, this has just happened. These are signs. You, you, you and I must wake up. We mustn't continue on and say, well, this has just been there. No, it hasn't just been there. Those are signs of the times in which we're living. Famines. I'm talking about right now. I'm not talking about a year ago, I'm not talking about two years ago, I'm talking about right now, 12 million or 13 million people face starvation. 13 million face starvation. Not enough food to eat. Hard to comprehend.